So the first book I would strongly recommend is Mahatma Gandhi's autobiography, The Story of My Experiments with Truth. Fantastic book. It sums up the whole life in simple one word, which is truth. I mean, it takes courage to talk truth to people whom we don't even know. Forget about people whom we know. Right? We don't know some people and we may not even meet them, but to tell them about our mistakes, to tell them about our shortcomings, to tell them about our flaws, it takes a lot of courage. And this is one book which I really, really appreciate in that context because Gandhiji lived his life for truth and the book has a lot of lessons for all of us to take back. Second book, Rich Dad and Poor Dad. I think this is very popular among all the people who want to make money, especially uh, entrepreneurs. Why it is a great book is very simple. It gives you whole perspective of what is the equation of earning money. Third recommendation is Wings of Fire from Dr. Abdul Kalam. That book is very impactful for students who are below 24. People in that age, 18 to 24 or 16 to 24, fantastic book. Then the fourth book and my favorite book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. The reason I tell you that this book is a fantastic book is especially in the current time when COVID is around, when your mind is already busy with a lot of negative thoughts, uh, depression, uh, people around you are affected, your friends, your family members may be sick or maybe some of them have even lost their relatives. This is a great book to read because it gives you energy from inside. My fifth recommendation, A Whole New Mind by Daniel Pink. It gives you a futuristic approach about life. I mean, if you look at it, 2000. 2006, around that time I read this, but it set the context for next 20-30 years from 2005. That means some of the things which are told in that book is applicable even for the next 15-20 years. Okay, It's not prediction, it's the way your mind can think and it gives you a complete different contrast to what people used to think earlier and how things have replaced in the current generation, current century. A whole new mind. Sixth one, Beyond the Last Blue Mountain by R.M. Lala. The fundamental books if you want to become an entrepreneur. The true meaning of an entrepreneur is in that book. And that book is not about entrepreneurship. It's the life of J.R.D. Tata. So then uh, my uh, seventh, start with why. Especially for you people who are figuring out your life who are trying to look forward for which profession, what passion, where is that I should spend my time, what should I do, others are doing this, what am I good at? I think that's a great book to start because it will take you deep within you by giving you a scientific process. It will give you the importance of why, why is important. And then you can figure out the how and the what. So the eighth book, the Alchemist by Paul Colo. That's another book like uh, My Experiments with Truth. You can always read it regularly. You can come back to the book. It can be your best friend. And the last book for my list today, the ninth book, is a book from Jack Canfield, How to Get from Where You Are to Where You Want to Be. This is a special book. Why? It's not a typical book where you read. It's a book where you actually kind of do some work. It's a workbook. So he will give you some questions and give you some space in the book where you will answer. You can answer in the same book or you can take a rough notepad and answer those and then you can keep it for your reference. But it's a workbook. It's a phenomenal book. It is made into some principles. I think 20, 30 principles are there. And he says, do this, do this, do this. And each one of you, especially when you're beginning your journey, career, it's important you do those exercises you it's not exercise actually you answer those questions and then you get into that frame of mind